no, no. Well, well, one time. <laughs> no seemly behavior, remember me? Of course you do, but why am I here, you must be pondering? Well, I got to thinking. I should do my part for hair everywhere. Set aside a fight by your side. I was suddenly, and I was suddenly here. So it's, it's so kind of you to welcome me so warmly to Team Rohana. Anyway, welcome back to Wolf Farm. Oh yeah, that happened too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, welcome back to more Farm of um, Fate's Conquest. So last time we did, um... Hmm. Huh? Ophelia's Paralogue. We got another Hogan's Grimoire, okay. <laughs> and yeah, apparently it's Rohana's birthday, and we got Yusana too. So we're gonna need to talk about him before we get into the map, because I've been using him. We got the Steel Bread, which I believe... Is that... It's not the choke weapon, because that's the quill pen. Uh, Fire restores time yourself, wielders max HP after combat, he or she initiated. Uh, I guess that is Ben, the fruit knife. So why not? <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna be talking about this. I should probably turn Battle Prats because I'm gonna be using him. Because he's kind of good, so yeah. Who do we get? Probably Senno. Although we're not gonna be trying to go after him. How very annoying. What now? Ugh, for what? <laughs> I'll show you the meaning of fear. So there you go. <laughs> Baby, don't remember why I set the birthday to. It's actually the first of um. No, it wasn't the 1st of January, it was the 3rd of January, sorry. And yeah, that's when I'm recording this. So yeah. Um... Yeah, let's go to the lottery shop. Looking for something? There you are. A lot of things happen in the last one too. We are basically talking about Ophelia a lot. And how she stacks up to, um... Odin is also a living sword. Wow. <laughs> you can forge the living sword as well, but there isn't really any units that can use it though, so yeah. Milk current. Um, yeah, let's go to the arena, then we'll go to the pro -class. Yeah, Rahana got the stab boost too, so yeah, she should be... She should be a good choice. But anyway, Leo. Hopefully he doesn't mess this up. I'm trained on the train. Yeah, unfortunately this great knight has a good matchup against him. I just see that. So uh, there you go. <laughs> so I'm gonna be losing a lot of meat today. Nope. Yeah, that's why you definitely. That's why um, units like that you probably shouldn't, you know, use like that. I guess we don't need to go for meat, but yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> uh, let's just go to pro I probably need to do some higher magic too, so I'll make sure of that. We definitely need to do that with these on it. That's for damn sure. And we've got flowers from Mr. Arthur, so that's kind of them. And Perry is here too, so yeah, we're gonna go see her. <laughs> you know what would look great on you? The blood of our enemies. So there you go. <laughs> And there we go. That was very nice. So yeah. Now yeah, let's go to this temple. And yeah, we got it. The Ace of Hall, which yeah. I can save that for later. So... Yeah, let's do this. Let's look at our units, so yeah. Do I want the Steel Axe, I wonder? Um... I could definitely take that. Um, maybe a C-Rank, so yeah. I guess I will just keep it around. Because yeah, is there anything else I want? Not really, unless I want to use the Baruka's Axe, be Baruka's Axe would be funny, but, but no. I could also take an Iron Axe here, but yeah, I already have the Mandel Spoon, so I don't think we need it. But yeah, Odin should be fine with that inventory now. Arthur, he should be fine. I think, yeah, the main thing is probably end of a Bronze Axe Forge, those are nice. 
Elise, um, one thing I learned in my practice is that, um, you might, <laughs> Odin might get to the high level to, um, reclass. See, I think I'm gonna prepare him for that, so I need to buy heart seal for him. Which, yeah, we're gonna need to buy those. Charlotte, um, she should be fine. With that equipment here. And Pet Dash has been doing the work, so it's no problem. And Niles, yeah, Niles should be fine with that. Same with Mozu. And Jacob should be fine. Xander should be fine. Camilla, ooh, look at her level. She's level 9, so level 10. I think she needs one more level, and then I'm gonna reclass her. So yeah, level 10, I wanna reclass her. Then she'll learn a skill level 11. Then I reclass her again, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. So if I give her one more level, then yeah, she can do that. It could happen the next time, but yeah, probably what I wanna do is get a near to a level up. I mean, we could also try doing it on this map too, that's probably wise. So yeah. I mean, we could also. I mean, yeah, I should do it once she's level 10. But yeah, I need to make some space, so I'll get rid of the Bolt Axe and the Steel Axe. I'm going to take that Soul Blade, and um, I'm going to need a Heart Sword too. But yeah, Keen should be fine. I guess you could take the um, Steel Axe in that case, just in case you need it. But yeah, Fear we're not using, Kaze and Parry, they should be fine with their equipment the way it is. I'm going to be focusing on Parry a bit more, I think. And yeah, that's it. Because yeah, we need want to bring along Misana because he's extremely useful. Man. So as for Tomes, he has B rank of Tomes, so he can use a lot actually. We have a fire term in the convoy thanks to um, Rohana from earlier. He can use our Squirmar too. He has a lot of might and has a lot of crits here. Yeah. We could consider that, but I think I'm just going to go fire term. But the main thing he's going to be doing is using stars. So, yeah, we'll give him the heal, the mend, and the freeze, and the infusion. So there you go. He can't use um, B rank stars, the last thing you need disadvantage with him. But yeah, he's coming along because he's amazing for the unit, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So anyway, yeah, let's go buy those heart seals. And we need two of them. Welcome. So yeah, Lisa's gonna take one for Odin, in case he needs it. If I use him a lot next up. And Camilla's going to take one, because yeah, again, she levels up quick, so yeah, this could very well happen. Thanks. And then after the map, I'll use the partner seal. So that's what we're going to do. And yeah, Rahana, she gets that A support, so yeah, probably what's going to happen is, she might, um... Hmm, I'll think about that. It might happen in Parallax, but yeah, Elberum is now on the table for her, so yeah. Alright, let's go eat. Now they've done those light power preparations. And yeah, we're gonna save again. I'll save the price for Flair because it's not gonna do the reclass right now. Speak up. <laughs> Speak up. Oh yeah, he's a beast, so that's not good. Um I wanna go strength of defense. My turn. Yeah, that, that can't be good. Yup. <laughs> yup, that's what I thought. So we're gonna reload off of that. Because there ain't no way I'm to get a stat to bottom the next step, so yeah. Let me do that. Alright, let's just go to the next step. So we're not eating. That's not great, but yeah. Alright, let's just go to chapter 23. Possessed. Still shot by the massacre King Garanor, that the group presses on toward the Great Wall of Susanor. Once more, an intense battle awaits. I mean, it's not that, but yeah. It looks like Sus <laughs> Susanoo, so yeah, I'm just gonna call it something like that. But anyway, we're flying possessed today. <laughs> Azora! Anyway, how is Sakura holding up? I, um... Not well, she won't speak a word, and I'm told she refused to eat. <sighs> I'm not surprised, poor thing. For someone so young to witness the massacre of all those soldiers. We're lucky we're able to take Sakura, Ikumura, and the Rotinas as hostages. If Yaga and Hans and Fryand or Sander, they would be dead right now. I heard that Sakura is being kept separate from the rest, is that so? Truly. I'm afraid so. I believe her isolation has made all of this even harder on her. 
but Elise has been visiting her quite often to make sure she gets food and blankets. Oh. Elise has been doing all that. I'm a little surprised. Back in Izmo, she seemed rather hostile towards Sakura, also the season. I don't know. Perhaps she's learned to focus on what they have in common. After all, they are both princesses, the youngest of all their siblings. I do like the fact that we got the Azura and Elise B support now. It makes a lot more sense that she would be helping out Sakura, so yeah. You should know that Garen's men don't agree with our choice to keep them alive. We should keep close watching them while I show to think what might happen. Understood. Alright, I wish it went so. But those who still follow father over Zen are not to be trusted. Oh. Indeed, as it were. The Norin army is split in two us after now. Huh? What do you mean? Listen. There are those whose allegiance lies with you, Sander, Leo, and the others. And those who will s who still swear fealty on to King Garon, Iago, and Hans. Conquering Hoshta is our only option, but our methods have drawn attention. If things continue like this, they might have a rebellion of sorts to contend with. It's convenient that King Garon is already here in Hoshta, but if something happens we lose his trust, we will all be in grave danger. Until he sits on that throne, we should all proceed with extreme caution. Yeah. You're right, we must be patient. The whole world depends on it. Once Father sits on that throne, everyone will finally know the truth. Only then can we... Um... Lay Rohana, Olivia Zora. <sighs> Yago? Am I interrupting something? No. No, not at all. Do you need something? Why, yes. King Garon orders you and your troops to prepare for battle immediately. We'll be arriving at the Great Wall of Susanor before long. Well... The Great Wall of Susanor? Oh. Oh, my apologies, young princess. I take it you've never heard of the place before. It is the last hurdle that stands between us and the Hoshten castle. castle. Once we pass through, we'll enter the capital city. My forces shall be leading the charge. You, on the other hand, have been tasked with conquering the enemy's core legion. That means the thing that leader, Prince Takumi, Takumi. is leading the Hosh Hoshto's core legion. Yes. We received word of it from our scouts not too long ago. I see. Um. We already have Princess Sakura as a hostage, so, we, so no need to keep him alive. I'm sure you would prefer to spare him, but I doubt that dear King would agree. Right. You are correct, Yago. I'll deal with Takumi for the glory of Nor. However, first things first, for now I must focus on the battle ahead. I will tell my troops to prepare for battle. Of course. Understood. <laughs> now then. Now to joyless you watch Rohana suffer. Poor princess, what will you do? Alright, here it is. The big one. <laughs> the big old one. So yeah, we can bring 15 units, and that means, yeah, I want to make my last year is on it, and yeah, we'll be sure to talk about him. I think, yeah, first of all, let's talk about the map. It's a grueling one, alright? Quite strong enemies. We got some spear fighters here that I'm going to try and deal with early on. We also got some snipers. One of them has a dual unit, by the way, so keep that in mind. Rally skills are your best friend on this map. Also, the enemy range looks large, and that's because they have Ballista. That guy is Amaterasu, so he actually heals his allies. And that's what that skill does, and Kinshi likes that, so that's interesting. Um, our first line of defense, I think some reinforcers are going to spawn around here. Um, it's after any of the southwestern enemies are provoked, they spawn, so yeah. If I want to use um, Camille on this, it's going to be a little difficult, because yeah, there's a lot of snipers. But yeah, over here we got our, basically our first line of defense, but like I said, I think some reinforcers are going to spawn here. Another one will um, spawn when you provoke this group. But yeah, we'll talk about that group in a bit because it's kind of special. So yeah, there's um, another sniper, another sniper, two of them, and then we got this. This guy could be a good catcher. He has Rally Defense and a Matarasu. So yeah, if you really want a supportive Rally Defense user, he might be a good choice. And the dude at the back is the same, so if you fail to kill the one in the front, that's okay. But yeah, they're being led by Hinata, who is a sword master now. And yeah, look up his stuff on the high of course too up here. But anyway, he has a silver katana. And yeah, he's um I believe this group what makes it kinda of difficult is the fact that they don't you need to bait all of them, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that makes them quite threatening. Inata is also kind of a threatening here because he has armored glow. On the higher difficulties, he also has soul and counter magic. And what's kind of funny is Soul and Armor both basically get the same icon, so yeah, there's that. But yeah, Counter Magic does make it quite dangerous, especially with its triple threat too. Don't forget about this skill, if you're paying with a physical yet. And yeah, you may notice here, yeah, the enemies have rally skills, and they will use them against you. 
Twitch here. That's um, not great because, as you can probably tell, I've been relying on them greatly. Hey, anyway, there was a bizarre set. They're not too threatening, but they can attack on both sides. That's their main threat. They don't hit particularly hard though. The other enemies are the ones that are more threatening, like the spear monsters, for example. Anyway, over here, yeah, got this guy with the blister. He's also kind of hard to kill because yeah. You could try using a flyer, but yeah, then um, these guys will try to attack you and stuff, so yeah. And this guy doesn't even move, so there's that as well. And yeah, if you try to range attack on a flyer, well, he's gonna shoot you, so you can even cut with that. But yeah, this squad, this squad's special. These two aren't really too notable, but it's this guy we want to be taking into account. This is the fabled rally man. He has rally strength and rally defense. He's probably the best unit to catch if you want rally skills. Um, on hard mode, he also has those skills, but on lunatic, he also has rally speed and rally resistance. So yeah, nothing can really top that in terms of rallying unless you build someone for the role. So yeah, this guy is an amazing catcher, and we're going to be capturing him because, again, those are nice skills. Up here, another blister. Again, this is annoying. It doesn't kill you, but it does weaken your flyers a lot, so yeah, that's annoying. They have some interesting weapons like Dual Naginada, a Calamity Gate, these guys still have still Yumis. This Silver Naginada dude causes me a lot of trouble actually, in my practice. And then yeah, there's a Steel Naginada dude as well. Then we got this group. This group's scary. We have a Steel Naginada dude. We have two um, dudes here. One, They both have one to t or two range weapons and also yeah, some Steel weapons on this. So yeah, Wakazashi in this one, Firing Club and the Steel everything else. But then we also got Obro, who's paired up with random Basara dude. I don't really know why she's paired up with him, because Basara's only give resin luck, but hey, I guess it helps a little bit. So here she is, Obro. She has that personal skill, so she's basically gonna do more damage to basically all your units. And she has a silver knock in her too. Say so there's that. And yeah, she also has warding blows. So Benga with magic is not a good idea. It, she can basically mess up the life and death vantage build. So you want to have a killer on player phase then, if you're using that. On the higher difficulty, she also has Luna and Counter. So yeah, she is really scary. And then of course we have the boss. So Takumi, he is kind of a threat for most of the set because you see here, he kind of covers this group extremely well. And there's even this dude too. And you have to see is where Takumi is staying. Let's talk about him, of course. He of course has his Fujin Yumi. And yeah, what makes him so dangerous, there's a couple of reasons. He's pretty evasive, because he's standing on a throne. Or a gate, I think it is actually what's called. Nah, it's a throne actually. So yeah, he's getting plus 30 avoid. So he's actually kind of difficult to hit. The best way to him is Bowbreaker unit. Luckily though, that's a skill sorcerer lens, so that's good. But yeah, what makes him so dangerous is the fact that he has a lot of procs because I have those. At least on normal mode, all you need to worry about is vengeance, but he also does have point blank. So yeah, be careful of that too. Because of the Fujimi, that hurts. And he also has a lot of crit too, because, well, Fujimi has a lot of that. And that could be dangerous if this guy comes along. He's actually higher level than a dose, so never mind. <laughs> um, on the higher difficulties though, things are really bad because he also has Rend Heaven and Bofa. So he has two proc skills, which is really bad, so yeah. So yeah, there's that. Now, yeah, we talked about this time. Let's talk about a new unit, Izana. So Izana is an amazing unit. Um, the main reason why is this. <laughs> rally Magic or Rally Luck. Basically, he's going to turn Odin. He's going to basically send Odin to Godhood, basically. He's going to have 36 magic, so uh, yeah, that's really good. But he also is pretty good at using stars, thanks to his good magic and skill stats. So Freezing and Feeble are pretty good, and yeah, you might want to think about using those stars and stuff, because again, this one's kind of a dangerous one. So yeah. Again, he's got a lot of utility because of that. He also has his personal skill. People don't like this one, but I can see some use for it. He reduces your damage, but he also reduces the enemy damage within two spaces by two. So that's nice. So yeah, again, I feel like this guy just brings so much utility, and the rally skills are just another bonus on top. Because again, you really want this dude if you're using magical units. That's what I'm sure. Because yeah, you've seen how good rally skills have been so far. So you should know that this guy is going to be amazing help. 
So I'm going with Graphrites, which are 45 HP, 15 strength, 55 magic, 65 skill, 45 speed, 45 luck, 35 defense, and 50 res. And his recasting options, he can go Great Master, because he's Pro from Monk, and he also has Samurai Apothe Apothecary. But none of them really do much for you. I just stick him as a Omniochi, because again, the staff utility is quite nice. So anyway. Now we've done talk about this map, let's try playing it. So yeah, I'm gonna pair my units together. And yeah, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send Camilla after this squad. And yeah, she can hurt these enemies, which is good. And yeah, we're going to be rallying her up a lot. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But this squad, I kinda wanna use Perry, I think. But yeah, she's also gonna need some rallies too. So yeah, we're gonna definitely do that. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna put Zender here. I'll put... I guess I'll have Zander, like, move and rally. That's probably what I'm gonna do. And yeah, why not? I'll also get, um... Charlotte to rally them too. She can, like, go over here to do that. Same way. I'm not so sure what moves and Niles are gonna do. I mean, yeah, Niles is gonna go catch a rally man over here. Another thing they can do is just fly over, but then, yeah, it's like... What can they do? <laughs> and also, rally man will probably, um... Might get himself killed, which I don't like, so yeah. Alright, let's try something like this. And yeah, again, this guy's annoying. But yeah, I think we can use the, um... I wonder what the range of all these guys are. Like, yeah, if you go, like, around here, we'll bait in, like... We'll bait in one of them. I guess that's fine. So yeah. I will need to dance for it done, but that's okay. But yeah. <laughs> she has a lot of void. I guess we could try taking a watch of that, but yeah. One of them does have, um... I mean, the Deal Yumi actually doesn't really help them. But yeah, the Steel Yumi's definitely do, so yeah. Alright. But yeah, if that doesn't work, we have Odin. And yeah, Odin is a really tanky boy, so yeah, he's gonna do really well in this map as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be on Mod those dudes, because yeah, now I know where I want to attack a Camilla. Probably here. So yeah. Alright. Let's get this big map a go. And yeah, I might need talks on this map. I guess we'll see. After we play it. Good. Uh, while well, we're playing it. At long last, I'm so glad you could make it, Princess Rahana of Noor. But, not, but no, that so long as there's a single breath of my body, I'll not let you pass. I mean that. You shall not enter our capital under any circumstances. Are you ready, dear sister? Today is the day you die. Even if I must give my life to achieve it, I will not fail. I will kill you, Rohana. Prepare to die like the coward you are. So let's seize. Same so anyway, yeah, let's go for those rally skills. And yeah, also Xander's pretty good on this one too. <laughs> he is kind of tanky, so yeah. So yeah, now again, I'm just gonna mark these dudes so I don't actually put them in range of them. Alright, we're gonna put it here. Do I wanna put it there? She also has 45 attacks, so... I think she does kill these dudes, so that's nice. She does take a decent amount though, but yeah, I'm also going to be rallying her res as well. But yeah, now she should be good. So I'm going to put her here with the boom talk. Now, yeah, we need to move up Perry. Unfortunately, yeah, I didn't really think this dance through very well, so yeah. <laughs> because yeah, it's kind of difficult to rally with her again, but hey, I guess she can go to the thicker things. Yeah, maybe I will put it here. We'll see if the build works with the, um... Um... Soul and stuff. But anyway, yeah. There's also the Ballista too. I guess I could make the Ballista go for someone that isn't the Perry. That could help out. Although, yeah... I guess I could put, like, Rohana here. With the Mandel Spear. She's extremely fast, that's good. <laughs> I think it is thanks to the Rally skill. I think, yeah, I might keep moving around here too. Maybe even give him the horse for it, because he'll be able to help out a lot with that. And yeah, I should have also right luck to be honest, but it's okay. Because that does help. So they're, they're using their rally skills. And well, <laughs> that didn't help much. Alright, that's how Perry is. She needs one more damage. And there's a soul. So there you go. I thought I did rally a strong so yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. But yeah, they'll, they'll be free kills, so that's the good thing. And this Deal Yumi dude, they're pretty bad against her. 
And there's another boss. There you go. And here comes the last dude. So yeah, we success successfully uh, beat this dude, so that's good. And there you go. The build is working, so that's good to see. Alright, and you can let us kill these dudes. And this is the strong one, because he has the silver. And we get rid of him. Good. Glad that's over with. And she's glad that's over. Oh, that was a lot of experience. <laughs> Maybe she'll get too much from the next dude, I guess we'll see. Alright. And there we go. And also, yeah, I had to blame on Kian too, because Kian made it so that... Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, I had to blame on Kian because, yeah, he was the reason why, um... Carrie's not killing, because I can't eat with him today, so yeah. And there's that. But yeah, there's the reinforcements. So yeah. Now I want to reclass, um... Camilla, but I'm going to retreat to do that. Because, yeah, she's going to get level 11, so yeah. And then we're probably not going to be using her that much. But anyway, let's use a heart set. Huh? Because our E-class is Dark Knight. And I'm going to be using Dark Knight to get Heart Seeker, obviously. So yeah, let's do that. So yeah, again, this is something my brother likes to do, so yeah, why not? I'll follow in his footsteps. Because, yeah, a Camilla with better accuracy is definitely a nice thing. And yeah, she can use the Soul Blade, and yeah, all she really needs to do is kill this dude, and then yeah, we don't need to worry about her. Alright, so now we have three free kills, so... I wonder who should we, who we should use. Watch it, it's under copy one of them. So yeah, um... And yeah, probably don't need to use Muzu, because we're not dudes, so yeah. I'll probably have Niles maybe use his mini bow. Or something. There's a leak there. So yeah. We all had to be in range, but it's okay. I'm gonna switch. And yeah, like I said, I'll use the mini bow to kill on these. But yeah, basically the bliss is gonna triple your flying units, so yeah. Oh, that's it? That's never fun, so yeah. <laughs> um and yeah, now I'm gonna let because these guys spawn, yeah, I should probably get ready for them. There's a tiger sprint dude, so yeah, I probably want to um Rally resistance. And yeah, also rally symmetry too. So there we go. And yeah, like I said, let's use Odin Dark. He's gonna kill this dude with the horse with the almost one shot. <laughs> and there we go. Overdid it. Again. And yeah, Odin, yeah, I think he's gonna be one of the best units in this map. And yeah, now yeah, I can do this with Perry. See how we do that. Uh, almost past the uh, ballista, so that's good. But yeah, we're gonna have another one to deal with. Let's see, if that's the problem. Anyway, and you'll get Rohan in position too. And yeah, like I said, I probably should get Zend on the move too. And yeah, I'll dance around too. You can also ride defense, but yeah, I'm worried that if we do that, these guys actually can't damage. But I think. I mean, nah, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> so they go for the rallies, he's gonna shoot the blister again. I thought it'd be those guys. And yeah, I get that kind of purposes. But yeah, look at him go. He's still gonna lose him. I mean, yeah, we did. We did give him like a ton of spirit dust last time, but hey. <laughs> I don't mind. Because yeah, I'm not using that many magic units, to be honest, so anyway. But yeah, maybe I retreated too far, but hey, we can heal her now, so that's cool. Um, alright, we have three enemies to deal with. And yeah, how do we deal with them? This guy is in woods, so that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, this one is a stealer, but alright. So yeah, the Tiger Spirit dude, that can be Perry's job. And yeah, she doesn't want to be in terrain because she'll do less damage. Yeah, she does good. I don't know how you do. Oh, you actually kill her, so that's good. Um, I think, yeah, let's, um, hold on, Perry. I'll use the Steel Shirt on help. So I guess, yeah, maybe I want to give Perry a Steel Dagger. That's a mess up. Your battle has ended. And yeah, there we go. Alright, so now, what do I want to do? I think, 
Um, I actually let Rohana kill this one, I think. And yeah, she can do that very easily with the Mandal Spin, so we can do that. And it's team up time! And the that went well. And yeah, that went well. <laughs> so now, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna let Sandra get this one. Uh, he's not quite strong enough. Um, I guess, um, both of them probably one shots this dude. Yeah. Do I wanna let Odin do that? Or do I want Xander to actually get some experience? Or well, maybe Shark. Yeah, Shark can do it. <laughs> I didn't rally his speed, that's what I should have done, but that's okay. Also, I got a defender too, which could have also pushed him over the edge, but that's okay. Anyway, now yeah, all these <laughs> people are crippled heavily, but that's okay. Yeah, we can heal up, um, come on. And yeah, I'm gonna get, um, you on the move. They're probably gonna be using Odin again, because yeah, Odin's pretty good at, like, being these guys in. He can use his nose frog too, or even the horse spirit if I just wanna get rid of them all of them, so yeah. Same way. I could also heal the Sora. He does have loads of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, he can definitely use that. Because yeah, he's gonna learn inspiration soon. And that would be wonderful, so yeah. And yeah, they're going for the Kimbo spot, so yeah. Well, it doesn't take that much, so that's good. All she needs to do is get one more kill. And then yeah, we don't need to use her as a Dark Knight, so that's kinda cool. But anyway. I guess we can go around. But yeah, like I said, it's gonna be Odin's time to shine. So yeah, what we wanna do is we wanna rally him. And we wanna rally him again. And then Xander's gonna rally him. So we wanna switch and do that. And now we just go with the nose for too. Because yeah, he's kinda high level. So I kinda want to see if I can get kills on my other units too, so yeah. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna go here with the nose for too, because yeah, all these guys should be able to reach him, which is wonderful, so yeah. Yeah, maybe you can get some kills. And I'll switch to Mosley because most of the pieces are but alright. And yeah, Takumi does hurt kind of a bit, but not to hurt him, so yeah. Look at that! <laughs> I've been practicing day and night so I could be the one to stop you. I won't back down to the likes of you no good scoundrels. Stand back and watch us and protect Lord Tuffy and all of Hoshto! And... yup. <laughs> this is the power of Odin. Also so strong, it's cool. And now we can leave these dudes. They didn't actually go for the rally, so that's interesting. I guess it wouldn't really help that much, but you know. <laughs> Anyway, too much power! <laughs> he is de he definitely uh, has too much power, let's just say, so yeah. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, all these guys are dying. And yeah, remember, if I quit the horse spread, he would just eliminate everything, so yeah. Again, I'm purposely sandbagging Odin because yeah, he's kinda too strong. <laughs> but anyway, what are we gonna do? So. I think I'm gonna let Perry take out um, Hinata. In fact, yeah, I think this is actually kind of a thing, so I'm gonna do that. No and, it's and there's blood in your eye. There you go. There he goes. Lord Takumi, stay strong! I hope he knows getting this blade from him was my proudest moment. Also, he kill him, by the way. It isn't like, I mean, yeah, I did exaggerate a lot with the Sakura map, Yay, or some more defense. Um, but she kind of needs more strength to be honest. Maybe I'll consider an energy drop, but anyway. Um, and yeah, like I said, I kind of exaggerate the fact <laughs> with like Tsubaki and stuff, but then again, yeah, they're still precious units to me, so I still felt really bad about killing them. So yeah. It's just that, yeah, um, you actually killed these dudes, so yeah, if you really like them, then yeah, it really hurts. So yeah. Anyway, Kamala's gonna go ahead and kill one of these snipers of the sword plate. Sure. 
so she can get that hot super. So there you go. That's all. None of the other skills really help her unless you're using her as a Merc Knight, which we're actually not, so yeah. Oh. That's a good level up. And there it is. Meta Accuracy. So yeah, now what she wants to do is reclass, so yeah, we can't really use her anymore. Anyway, Xander, yeah, poor Xander. Let's help him out a bit. <laughs> we'll give him this juicy kill gun. There we go. For the glory of I mean, Xander's not bad. This is that, yeah, I'm compared to Odin. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really riding this speed, that's the thing. That's why he doesn't look as impressive. Anyway, now, yeah, we can definitely destroy this. Although, you have a crit chance, so yeah. I mean, is that a lethal crit chance? Um, it actually isn't, because he does 45 damage, so you know what? I'm going for it. He's a spear monster, he gets a crit boost, that's why he has crit on us. And even. That's the same. There we go. Another kill for him. Yeah, uh, keep in mind, though, all these units here are going to be getting hit by the, um, Ballista, though. I'm here to help. That's a good level up. And rally strip. Um, I think I'm gonna actually unclip it. Yeah, I'm not so sure if I want to do that or not, but yeah. Just in case. Anyway, I guess, yeah. One thing that's probably gonna happen is Odin's going to um, do his thing. <laughs> and anyway, I'm gonna switch to Gnarls and Mini Bed this day. See how they go. And a I've had better. Yeah, that's a pretty good to my experience. Alright, now um <laughs> we can go for I don't think he needs more magic, to be honest. So yeah, I might just go after these dudes. Right now, with the um horse spirit. Do I go horse or do I go moss? Um I think I will go nose far to actually. I want to see if I can get more kills on more units. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'll go for the money here. But yeah, Takumi's gonna shoot us, which I don't like. Like that. And you're gonna shoot us, but it doesn't really do damage. And the other guys can't even hurt him, so yeah. Well, they don't want to attack him. So I guess, yeah, what's gonna happen is, is that, um, we're just gonna do this. So we don't need to worry about this piece. I believe by doing this, though, we're gonna beat the other squad. And so that ballist is done for now, but there is another one. Of course, it's this one, which yeah, he is in range of. And what about you, Rally Man? I'll give a non range of Rally Man. That's definitely a good thing. So, yeah. so we'll get Niles. I mean, these guys, yeah. I think the only really good unit against them is Perry and Sandra. So, yeah. I'll probably Rally then. And I'll give her another Rally. You know, yeah, that'll give it too much for us, but that's okay. Um, I guess I'll heal that too. So I'll do that. Alright. So yeah, let's just get Perry on the move with the end color. So there you go. Um, and yeah, like I said, I don't really want to use Camilla as a Dark Knight anymore, so yeah. We got Topaz also. Um, and yeah, this is actually out of the list range, so yeah, I can go back to Muzu. I'll get you closer to. And yeah, I guess you can go for Dance here. And yeah, why not? I'll go ahead and rally hit too. But yeah, it goes for Jacob. That's to be expected. And yeah, these guys are gonna get destroyed by. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, look. I wonder, is he the super lucky this favorite? It's kinda hard to say, because he is actually a good guy. It's just that people took time to figure out that he's good. So yeah, I don't know. Calling him Tsubaki definitely doesn't feel right because of that, so yeah. But yeah, he is definitely a great, you know. He is basically kind of just doing what Hayato was doing in the um, other paper. But anyway, here they come. So, also, yeah, that happens too. Um, these guys are actually kind of dangerous because all of them have like effective weaponry and stuff, so yeah. So we have a lot, there's a lot to worry about that, and yeah, Azura's also kind of a lot of us too. But yeah, I don't think Xander cares about a um, sword catcher. He wants to kill one of the sword catcher dudes, I mean, he can't double is the problem. Although yeah, with a rally right speed he does, so that's good to know. But yeah, those guys, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about them. I'm also kind of worried about that squad. 
Luckily though, I mean, yeah, we just run from these dudes. That's what we do. And maybe send Perry back, because yeah, Perry can also deal with these dudes as well. Because, yeah, she's fast enough, we can give her the right defense too. It's just that, yeah, we need a dance for her. That's doing the problem. So, yeah. I think, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rally. Where can Azura go? That's square, apparently. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll put her here, and yeah, basically, I'm gonna hope that Nadia is gonna reach her. Which they shouldn't. Because, yeah, she has a lot of movement, which is good. Because, yeah, I can put her here, and yeah, she can stop working on these dudes. Um, would be nice to give her a rise. Luckily, though, yeah, I can do that. Like so. And yeah, Xander can definitely give Rally um, defense. Because, yeah, even if he gets attacked by Soul Catch, I don't think it's gonna kill him. So, yeah, most of these guys don't double him either, so yeah, that also helps. And yeah. I wonder if I can go here and go for that nice rally because, yeah, that means that, I mean, yeah, probably the smart thing to do is maybe kill on these dudes. What should I, um, you can do that, but yeah. You can block on these, see, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> nope, she can't have kill him. Black purple. So there you go. So, the magic number's 13 on Perry, which she is getting kind of close And yeah, that guy... Okay, that's the blister range, so yeah, all I, need, all I need to do is more like this. And yeah, they're both safe, so that's good. And yeah, Xander can also go ahead and kill a dude for us too, just in case. He's just that accuracy. Oh, no, there we go. And he gets a little So, and yeah, level 11. Not enough. That's a good one. And gambled, though. <laughs> And yeah, like I said, yeah, none of them are in range, so that's good. And yeah, Perry, we'll see how she does. She has a shield gauge, so I'll definitely help her out. And now Odin, he wants to do a tactical retreat. He is still ranged though with this guy, so yeah. Which, yeah, that uh, means we probably want to have a climbing gate, because this guy's going to use a spirit against us. So yeah, I'm going to trade on that with Muzu. And then your next turn, we should be able to capture um, Rally Man. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And yeah, I'll get Key in the next two because he could use some spirits. Anyway, yeah, the Shun of Zura, as to be expected. Alright. That's fine. I could also use the Strat Chip, but yeah, cutting this guy off. Not bad for me, though. Also, yeah, he can't slow himself in too big. Level 14. And too much power! Here's a sword catcher. Yeah, that doesn't do that much. But, <laughs> there you go. He does hurt us, but yeah, that's okay. Is that all? Is that all? I think it was. But anyway, what are you doing? Steel Naganada? Okay. That's kind of a good choice. There you go, assaults. That's good. You know, we don't need it. Haha. <laughs> We gain HP percent it's like so yeah. <laughs> and here come the rest. So yeah, now yeah the what we need to do next is kinda of obvious. Uh, we need to capture Rally Man, obviously. So yeah, we'll do that. Um Can you do it on your own? You need him weakened a little bit, that's okay. How are we gonna do that? So I mean, probably the weapon that doesn't crit, so... Like a fire tome, we can chuck a hand axe at him, like so, yeah, that'll do it. So yeah. Now, the, these two, um... I think I will actually let Perry take this. She can definitely kill... Before this guy gets a shield gauge, because that's the important thing. She gets another salt. And another salt. <laughs> So yeah, she's definitely parking it quite often, so that's good to see. That's definitely, um, gonna make things nicer later on. And yeah, I guess Sander can just... What does this guy have? Um, he has Pike Crew and Axe Spur, so yeah, that's not gonna friend any of these two, so yeah. I think I will just chip the dude with Sander. And well, 
I did say that Secret building is 80 hits, so I guess there's that. Um, saying, like I said, I'm gonna have Arthur toss the hand axe at this dude, our boy Rallyman, and then we're gonna capture him. Because, yeah, he's. If you don't like capturing people, at least capturing him is good. Because, yeah, he's definitely. His role is very hard to replicate, especially on the Lunatic, so yeah. So yeah, let's catch him. He even has good weapons too, even on um, <laughs> normal mode. So yeah, there's that. And there we go. I guess that's so it. can you pull out like effective weapon too and help you out that way? So anyway, level 14. Oh. That's pretty good. He's only one level away from Bufa. We catch him, and now yeah. I think he can do this. He needs a little help. Um, 27 speed. Ooh, this guy's kind of fast. But luckily, yeah, we can rally him. So I'm gonna do just that. But yeah, I think he still needs it, like a little bit more. So yeah, that's of course. Ooh, it's job. Because yeah, he can go for the nurse rod too. Get his health back. Check out his skills. All right. <laughs> and yeah, now this is a free kill. Hey, what's his experience like? Mm, all right. <laughs> Let's go with the beast stone. And a where's my praise? And yeah, where's my praise? <laughs> good, good. Alright, now yeah, we need to get out of here with Zura. I don't know if she could she can dance with Jacob technically. Because yeah, none of these guys can reach over the something the ballista. Because I'm gonna have Jacob go for another heal because that's probably gonna get him to inspiration. Like so, that's gonna be useful skill. Not really in the next area though is the problem. And yeah, we're gonna get a dying blow because um, I mean, lit the service isn't that great, but yeah, at least it you know is a support skill. I don't think Jacob's gonna be fine that much, is the thing. All right, what to do next? Yeah, this guy goes to Santa. All right. Zander doesn't kill him. I think that's the reason why. Same, there we go. Alright. So, yeah, now, um. Perry is gonna. Do I want Perry to do that? Yeah, sure. Why not? Anyway, I'm being stabbed. And there we go. Also, crit 2. And yeah, she's doing really well. And yeah, she's almost at that magic level too, so that's good. So yeah, I think next thing I want to do... Hmm... It's difficult, because yeah, this guy really hurts. Like yeah, I'm thinking about doing something over let's just say I'm cooking something, if you if you will. Because yeah, I think it's time to go for the repulse. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the lightning, and the shock therapist. Shock therapy, I should be saying. So I can take these, because yeah, we're gonna really cast him into a Master Bombs. Because he's level 14, he's gonna learn, um, that skill, obviously, so yeah. Life and Death. Of course, yeah, Life and Death is gonna be dangerous coming up, but yeah. Again though, I do have a lot of faith in Odin Dark, so yeah, let's take a Master Bombs. And yeah, let's go again! <laughs> We're gonna get that life and death, maybe on this set? I guess we'll see. And then back to sorcery points, and then he's done. So yeah. <laughs> and the sword hand twitches once again. <laughs> so excited. The excitement level is through the roof. Alright, there you go. Now, yeah. Do we do it? The question. That's the good question. I think we don't, because Xander's probably the safer choice. Or even Perry, but with Perry's experience the way it is, I probably don't want to use her. So yeah. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna rally up Xander and we're gonna send him in. That's gonna be the plan. For well, what's coming up? So yeah. And yeah, no one's to shoot. That makes sense. We can get Perry out. That's that's good. I'm gonna put Xander here. I'm gonna give him all the buffs that we can. That'll happen on the next turn, but yeah, we can give him Rally Strength. We can't give him Rally Defense, but it's okay. He doesn't need it, because, um, I mean, it technically does help, but yeah. He does also have his personal skills, so yeah. 
But anyway, yeah, let's go for those rallies. Also, him being on full health would help out a lot, but yeah, we're not going to do that. Hey, okay, rally. Rally. Um, you don't have a rally still. You do, though. Might as well give him luck. Alright, Puff, Santa, let's go. <laughs> Again, he's kind of underleveled, so might as well use him. He's also about to learn a very useful skill, too, so yeah. Here's the plan. We're gonna go here and we're gonna wait on the stairs. In fact, actually, no, we're actually gonna start fighting these enemies. The only problem is, yeah, again, he could get ignored, but yeah, I'm gonna hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do this because I wanna start building ship gauge, so let's do it. Next turn, he can kill the dude on the first one. The only problem with this is cripples. But yeah. I'm gonna hope that's not too much of a problem once he levels up. Because he should be one running all those enemies. Then next time we're gonna be going in with our units, so yeah. Because yeah, what's gonna happen is that the everything up there is gonna start moving, so yeah. Hey, yeah, this guy actually went off his blister, alright. Because there's no one that's fire out, I think. Yeah, okay, here he goes. Xander finally doing something in this playthrough involving the sick group. I mean, yeah, I just wouldn't say he, he. Because, yeah, he was definitely doing things before. Man, okay, there's Soul finally. Uh, hmm. Like, all these are good. I'll get a ride defense actually, because we have Rally Man now. <laughs> Might as well use him. The ma magic is his main friend, but now it's Soul though, that's not really much. Of it. Say there you go. For the glory of Nor! Rise skill would be nice too, but yeah, look, unfortunately we don't really have access to it yet, so unless I decide to recross Nihil's top of the game, so yeah. There you go. Your battle is over. Yeah, I think you can see what <laughs> the strategy with um Xander is. Yeah, here's that civil option that was skill. And he actually looked. That's okay, we can get killed with someone else. This guy, probably less chance to die. And there we go, he hasn't even put soul ones, okay. <laughs> for the glory of Nor! That's okay, he made two level ups for Xander, he's now level 13. I see. And that was a very mid level up. This other has been oddly disappointing. It's kinda, he's like still good, it's just that, I don't know. He's just kinda, you know, that, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, what I want to do with Xander though is I want to go off and probably kill this dude. Maybe even use Charlotte. Charlotte's decent sprints because yeah, she can definitely kill this. The problem is, do we have enough units to kill the rest? I win. <laughs> That's the big question. So yeah. Hey, level 11. I'm too fragile for this. Well, <laughs> I guess it runs in the family. <laughs> but anyway, um. Alright, so yeah, what do we have? Five enemies, that's a lot. So yeah, and yeah, I wouldn't say all these units are capable of killing all these in one round. So yeah. Hmm. It's not gonna be easy. But yeah, we do have rally skills though. Let's not forget that. <laughs> so I think, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rally here. And yeah, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with Niles first. I wanna see what Niles can do for us. So yeah, Niles almost kills that dude. He does well against Obro, and he does pretty good against these guys. What our Moose would do? With Delta Storm. Yeah, she can kill that dude with the um Herald's bow. But yeah, I can't commit it, so yeah. We're gonna try it. So we're gonna switch. Trade the Herald's Bow for the Hexa Drive. And yeah, there's enough good. And it's alright doing this because the uh, Moses is actually not low enough to do it. Let's see. Um, there we go. And she did it. There we go. Now, how do we deal with the rest? Um, Ode of Dark. That's one way. Um, yeah, Ode of Dark for over here. Because, yeah, um, yeah, that damage. <laughs> With the lever to sword. Let's do it. And yeah, what does that do? There you go. 
And yeah, let's see. Can you get life and death? Because then these two have basically done a lot of things, so yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. I think it's Rohan's turn now. So let's switch. She can kill Obero, although yeah, the chance of death there is present. But yeah, luckily there is no chance of death over here, so I'm gonna go for that. And a nice critical. So there we go. Hand few. Okay, good. This is going well. Savage Blood 2 helps a lot. Helps out a lot too. What that Kian does? I don't think he kills. But he does well. It would be nice if he killed over it, but yeah, we're gonna need to set it up. Fortunately, um, I went on the stairs, so... Oops! Um, <laughs> he's not getting the kill and stuff, but luckily he can weaken um, Obro without having a crit chance, so that's good. The blister's still a threat though, is the only problem. So yeah, why not, let's try it. You filthy Norians! As long as I live, I won't let you lay a finger on my dear Tuckman. Oh, the full So he heard a good. You need to be careful of shield damage too. Luckily, yeah, that's basically a free call on the one now. And there it is, B rank. So yeah, that's very nice. And, um... Odin? <laughs> I should let Perry. Because I don't think Perry can chew through the whole health bar of the other dude, basically. So yeah. Instead, we're gonna use it to finish off the weakened Obro. But she's going off all the top weeks. I am at your service. Uh, and there she goes. Oh, but I want to protect thee, my sweet Takumi. I should have told you how I felt. Lord Takumi, I have always loved her. It does feel bad doing that though, considering she was part of the great Sparky's legacy, so yeah. Yay, and the shrimp is very nice. And now this dice left. Who are we gonna dance for? Um, he does have his tiger spirit, but so uh, yeah. Odin Dark! <laughs> and yeah, Odin is enough. Good. For some reason, I knew he'd be enough. I don't know why. <laughs> because he's Odin Dark, that's why. And he overdid it again. Alright, good. In fact, Odin might be one of my best talk figures. <laughs> he does have only 11 res, so um, yeah. And once again, we can buff him up lots, so yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll heal a Zoro, because why not. Next thing we need to do though is we need to go open the chests, because they're very good. You definitely want to go open those. And, uh, Keen's puzzle skull activate, cool. Alright. The first one is boots, and the next one is ten thousand gold. And yeah, like I said, the blood aches. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have rally defense anymore. But with twenty seven defense, I think I think it'll be fine. But yeah, <laughs> again, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of rally defense with soul, but it's okay. But yeah, this attack though is still gonna hurt quite a bit. So I'm still a little bit worried about Odin Dark because a vengeance could definitely hurt a lot. So yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, I think Takmi needs to be scared though. So anyway, yeah, that can be dogs too. Apparently it's over here because yeah, we definitely want to go for the inspiring stuff too. So anyway, um, the only like helpful rally is on this one and uh, this one. So there you go. And now, yeah, let's go in. <laughs> and let's see if we can take down top of me. Oh, um... <laughs> My aching blood! <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, that, this guy is insane. This guy is actually insane. <laughs> He's gonna block Takumi's attack, so even though he gets vengeance, yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. He's gonna get life and death, that's not a problem, but I don't think this guy kills life and death, dude. 
So yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. All allies are not deserve nothing but the cold embrace of death. But why is he playing this music again? Well, you're about to find out. And he didn't drop the rules. And he's gone. Defeated by you? No! This can't be how it ends. And there we go. Too much power. Of course, this is the class you could spatch it with. Hey, life and death. Um. I got a seal strike. Now he basically has 17 defense, so this guy does how much? Um. That's like 23, so you'll be fine. In fact, you'll probably get into advantage. There's another thing you can do, you can step on the ballista, so uh, yeah. Hee hee haw. But anyway, I could go on the stairs, but. I mean, yeah, that guy, um. He actually can't reach. If he walks, yeah, I'm just gonna put like Keen around here. Because Keen is kinda on the level, so he could use a nice skill. We're probably gonna be using him a lot in the next map then. <clears throat> Maybe, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, he just shoots. And you and this, well done. <laughs> so I'm gonna put Odin here, and then yeah, we're going to. Well, actually, yeah, we need a little help. Luckily, though, we've got help. We got um, Rally Strout, and um. Does that work here? Apparently, yes, it does. So, um, yeah. Now we can kill. I mean, like I said, Keen's a little up, let's let's have him up. Just in time for dinner. Which I think I will be too, so that's good. Because I'm recording just before my dinner. I'll think. <laughs> I love the last recording this one. That's for dang sure. So there you go. Now, yeah, with Very wish I could seize it. But yeah, there's nothing else to do on this map, so yeah. Like, everyone did an amazing job on this map. I'm so proud of everyone. <laughs> Especially Odin! So yeah. I mean, yeah, again. Odin's not the only one who can do this. You can do this to Leo, you can do this to Ophelia, but he's Odin, man. <laughs> it feels very good using Odin for some reason. I don't know why, but... <laughs> he's just been, like... He's just been himself. I think that's... I don't know how to describe it, he's just been himself. That's just how awesome he's been, so yeah. Alright. Let's end this map. And we're gonna steeze with another person who did very well on this map, Xander. It's over. Your battle is over, Takumi. The Norian army has seized control of the Great Wall of Susano. All remaining soldiers will be taken prisoner, that includes you. <coughs> Damn it, coward! I hope you rot in a pale of eternal torment for this. <sighs> My, what a rude fellow. You should be grateful we are allowing you to live. You may be our prisoner, but we will not treat you cruelly. If you behave, we may even let you see your sister, Princess Sakura. What? You captured Sakura too? You monsters! Yeah. I know how you must be feeling, Taki, but please calm yourself. You must bind in the prison before father arrives. Please, just put out your hands and- Don't touch me! Don't you dare lay your filthy gnawing hands on me! Talk to me? You. I mean it, don't come near me! If it wasn't for you, none of those awful things would have happened to Hoshto. No one would have had to die. We could have been a family. Why did you go back to Nor? Why? Tell me why! Why did you choose us, your real family? Why? Don't speak my name, traitor! It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Oh, you so funny. Nothing matters, not anymore. Huh? Talk to me, why do you say that? That! <laughs> the time is now. I will not be stopped. I can still save Hoshto, even without the Blade of Salvation. You can't keep me prisoner. See? Do you see? You shouldn't have left me a way, a way to escape. Ah. 
Talk to me. Talk to me, no. Talk to me, please, no. No. This can't be happening. I won't let it. Talk to me. Uh, Rahana, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going after him. He might be still alive. Huh? No, it's too dangerous. That area isn't, isn't under Anor's control yet. Rahana. Where are you? He's not here, but how? You must have fallen somewhere nearby. Wait. Wait, Rohana, you can't go that way. Closer soldiers might still be afoot. Azura. What do I do? I can't find Takmi anywhere. What's that? What? Listen. We saw him fall. He fell down this very wall. But he's not down here. Oh my. How could that be? That's that's simply not possible. After falling that far, it'd be a miracle for him to be alive, much less still mobile. Then where is he? I don't know. Has somebody reviewed this body? There must be an explanation. Listen. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to figure this out right now. We need to get back to our troops. If we don't have the wall under our control when King Garan forces arrive, there's no telling how many innocent lives will be lost. Damn it, you're right. Understood. Okay, let's go. Well. We must hurry, Rohana. There's no time to lose. Talk to me. Where are you? So, um, yeah, I don't think Takumi want to be a part of the plot anymore. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's gone now. He's definitely not going to do anything else in this plot, that's what I'm sure. So, yeah, there's that. That was a fun map, though. It's one of the hardest ones to the hide the place, though. You definitely want a good strategy. Luckily, yeah, there's definitely some good strategies for it. And we also got a lovely little rally man who we're going to go talk to. He's called Masahiko, so yeah, we're gonna try getting him. Trust me. Time for your final bow. But yeah, it's gonna take a little while though. You can also bribe him too, that's I guess another option. First I'm gonna make the little free prison before I think about doing that. Because yeah, I think yeah, we should probably Prioritize getting a rally man. So yeah. Or well, this case Masahiko, so yeah. But yeah, what do we get? We actually don't get any supports. Well <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let's go upgrade the prison for free. Because they're now gonna hold six prisoners and it becomes easy to persuade them. So yeah. Let's go see. Again. Because yeah, there's still probably gonna be some people worth capturing, so yeah. Trust me. Time for your final bow. But yeah, it's still gonna take a while. What do you want? Rubies and wheat. Yeah, I think that's gonna be hard to justify. Because yeah, wheats are uh, defense boost and yeah, ruby, yeah, I don't have much of that, so yeah. So anyway, what do we do now? I think, yeah, we'll go to private quarters. We don't need to see Perry anymore, because yeah, we can get a cavalier class now. Oh, um. No one to fight, good. Let's go to the arena. Destin Odin. And Odin's here. Um. We should probably use it for you, So anyway, I'm gonna get my meat back. You are in good hands. And she's unleashing her best. Are you meeting? And good dodge. Because you need to dodge that. There you go. Ah, fair finger of fate. So there you go. But yeah, that would have been easier if, you know, we reclassed Odin, which we're gonna do now. We don't need 11 slots anymore, because again, I don't think we're getting at least to, um, that high rank, so yeah. So yeah, that means we never heart seal, so yeah, I'm gonna buy that. So I can make him a sorcerer again. <sighs> can we fight soon? And yeah, the 10k gold we got on that last time is definitely gonna help fund us. 
There's a couple of our reclasses we should consider doing as well, but anyway. Yeah, Rahan is kinda close to reclassing herself. They're gonna reclass Odin, who now has cut speed as a master of arms. Probably should sleep for doing this. But yeah, I guess we could also go see this. Alright, milk. I'm not so sure what we're gonna do next, I'll figure it out. I was actually thinking of the next map, in fact, so yeah. Anyway. So yeah, let me see the game in here. Yeah, let's do some reclassing. But yeah, what does Rahana want, I wonder? Probably a heart seal, because she can go Malignite and pick up Tremble, so we can boost damage even more. Um, there's also friendship for a Great Knight, probably, so we can get Elber. Anyway, Odin, yeah, he definitely wants to reclass now. Into a Sorcerer once again, so yeah. And he's already cut skill and luck, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and yeah, it is wise to get another level because he's gonna get boot breaker. And that skill helps out a lot, so yeah. And that's what's gonna replace Duelist Bonus Moose set too. So now we have another weapon as Arsenal, which is well right. Well, not really. Um Vantage life of that, so there you go. Yeah, Arthur, we still need to use them a lot. Elise, she can think about getting uh, skills that are Heart Seeker and um, Malefic Aura because those help out. Those help her out a lot, so yeah. Charlotte, we could think about a recast of her. She's a good level for it, but yeah. I wonder, do we do that for the next step? I'll think about it. I think it's better to deal with Parallax, so I'm gonna wait. Zero will be fine. Niles, we'll see. Again, we'll get both and we'll make a decision. Mozu, we're gonna be using her on the next one, I think, so yeah. We don't have many flying yet, so that's the new problem. Uh, for the next map, we only really have Mozu now. Because yeah, Camilla's not gonna be flying. Jacob, yeah, he's good. Now he has inspiration. Zend will be fine. His next thing is um, getting Axe Breaker, which could potentially be very nice as well. Again, I could definitely think Defender, but I don't know. Like, a lot of his skills are actually really good. I feel like the extra HP is better, to be honest, so yeah. Hey, Camilla wants to reclass, she wants to partner seal, so... Let's go buy that. Giving a little split. Can we fight soon? So, Camilla... Um, partner seal. Yeah, let's use that right now, so yeah. Because, yeah, Keen gives the fire line, because, yeah, you can't really become a wolf skin, so yeah. We're gonna make Kamala Berserker, because it should be pretty obvious why. Axe fair, so yeah, let's do it. And yeah, my brother also likes to make her Berserker too, so yeah. I guess I really am following his footsteps too, so yeah. Also, oh god. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Knights also do that thing that the female paladins do, so yeah. How wonderful. So they go. Also, yeah, she boosts up Kian quite a bit, which is good because Kian's a little bit low level, to say that. And yeah, now Camilla's killing power has increased quite a bit, so yeah. I'm gonna give this back to, um, can't say the Soul Blade, so they go. And now, Perry. We got boots. I think I'm gonna get those to Azura. Again. Because she's quite good with those. Yeah, Kaze's fine, but with Perry, I think we're gonna make her a bow knight, so we're gonna need a friendship seal. Can we fight soon? So that means she's also gonna need the um We'll give her the um what's it called? The hex no, it's not the hexa drive, the um the Delta Storm, so yeah. Say like so, we're gonna make her a bow knight. And yeah, the main reason we're doing this is it gets a certain skill we're gonna really need. So yeah. Also, having her use bows on the next story map is actually a pretty good thing. So yeah, let's do this. And yeah, once again, the friendship with Selena is really painful. 
So yeah. I wouldn't mind using Perry's of Bow Knight one day, it's just that, yeah. It's kind of a weird class of the blood first, I think. See so now, yeah, we can get the end color and the hunter's knife back to Kazu. He probably doesn't need the frickin' steel bread. Steel bread, sorry, so yeah. So yeah, hunter's knife and the end color. And yeah, I might think about forging the end color as well, because yeah, Perry would like that. Slight extra power, also steel back of forge too. So yeah, uh, again, I think it's the Delta Stormy one. Yeah, that's the Bronze Bow Forge, so yeah, let's try that. Yeah, she's gonna be using that a lot in the next map, so yeah. And yeah, his honor should be fine. He didn't, he didn't cut the fire truck, okay. <laughs> um, Alright, that should be good. And yeah, again, I think I'm probably gonna prioritize getting Perry that certain skill, so yeah. If it doesn't happen, that's okay, because we're gonna probably do it power lock stuff. But anyway. See, there we go. Odin has achieved godhood now, so yeah. That is pretty epic, so yeah. And yeah, you can definitely sweep through people with the shock therapy now, so yeah. I don't think I'll be thinking about doing that. But anyway. I believe next time, though, we're actually not gonna be doing the next story map. We're not doing a power lock either. Yeah, I think you know what time it is. We're gonna be going back to the practice playthrough to do a power lock there. I think that's what I want to do next day. And before we end this, let's do that final Rohana and Perry spot. Oh, Lady Rohana! No tears today, Perry. That's encouraging. I know, people still look at me funny. But now they now, but now they all want to try my snacks. I'm glad for you. I know what you did for me. You talked to them all and told them how good my snacks are. Guilty as charged. I really did enjoy it, though. Thanks, Lady Rohana. It probably helped I admitted the part about you killing your servants. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, well, I was just reviewing my agenda for the rest of the day. What a great day. I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep shining out treats for everybody. Especially for you, Lady Rohana. For me? Yep. I'll I like being your ally. You and you are nice to me, so I'll be nice to you, like when you listen to my problems. You're very welcome, Perry. I'm really pleased to see this outpouring of goodwill from you. I can see now why Xander chose you as his routine. Oh yeah? Yes, but I don't think it was entirely because of your blood loss. Xander saw the kindness in you, and that's why he wanted you in his company. I want to make sure I recognize the reward kindness just as he did. Thanks, Lady Rohana. I hope you'll be kind to me too. We'll be spending lots of time together. I'm looking forward to it. That was okay. It's not as good as what Lazo was doing, but hey. <laughs> it's, I guess, something. It's definitely a big improvement in sports. But anyway, we want a heart seal and a friendship seal later, so yeah, for Rohana. And probably another heart seal. But yeah, I think another plan. For that next step is probably get to level 15, get Axe Fair, and then go into Malignite for Trample. That's another thing we're trying to do. There's a lot of things to go try and do in the next map. Luckily there's a lot of enemies to kill too. We don't need to focus too much on Odin at least because yeah, they're already level 15, so that helps. That means I'm probably not going to be bringing into too many Paralogs either, so we can focus on everyone else. But anyway, enough of the yammering. Yeah, next time we're going to be doing a Paralog in the practice playthrough. So yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.